Right, and Susie, so you were just off a C last paper one I marked with a score of 56. You reckon 85? That would be fantastic. Let's see how close you get. 38, 32, 46, 42, 119, 81. Excellent, great start. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 there. Uh, here's your first mistake. You have to say that it's 7,000 is its value. Its position is in the thousands column, but its value is 7,000. 57 is not a prime number because three goes into it. 53 or 59 is what we're looking for there. And that's good. So nine, 12 for the first page. Okay, your maths is perfect. Your communication is non-existent. So there are two marks out of those five are for telling me what you're doing. Okay, so what you want to be saying is total cost of the pens will be eight pound take away 80. And then, cost of each pen will be that. Uh, sorry, number of, e number of pens, isn't it? Will be that. So your communication is zero. Right, so that equals 10, that equals 6, that equals 8, that equals 11. It's worth you turning the little groups into numbers. Now your graph, you've chosen uh, not a good scaler. You want to try and fill your page as much as you can. So if your largest number is 11, then you can go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 without a problem. So you're going to lose a mark for your choice of scale. You labelled it fine, but you're going to lose, uh, sorry, it's three marks for that. Four marks, you will get three because your scale isn't great. Those are right. Okay, so what you've done wrong here is you substituted the wrong bits into the equation. The speed of the stone is 45, so that should be 45, and the starting speed is 20. So those two are the wrong way around. For what you've done, that's actually correct but you'll only get one mark because you put them in the wrong place in your, in your formula. So it isn't the first thing goes first, the last thing goes last. You've actually got to read it and then put them in the right place in the formula. Nine for that page. Okay, so 68 is wrong. So what have you done? Three and three and eight and eight. Difficult to see because you haven't linked that with this. Okay, what you should have is three, eight, three, three, eight, three, three, three. That's going to be five, three, eight. So by writing those on, I can see what method it is and what I'm adding together. I can't see that from yours. I do know you're working with the, with the length rather than the area. So you'll get a mark, but then from there you've gone wrong. But for this, you get full marks for your area work. So that's good. 0.4 is fine. 30% is right. So to write these as fractions, they're not asking you to show them in their simplest form. So any percentage, to write it as a fraction, you just put it over 100. So 40% means 40 per century, 100. 30 per 100. 
So two out of four there will mean you get six on that page. Five points. Uh, win, draw, loss, loss. Draw, draw, loss, loss, loss. Good stuff. Six foot is fine. And 15 feet is good as well. You might want, doesn't matter, I can see it there as far as a method is concerned, so that's okay. 10 marks. 106 is correct, well done. Now for this one, um, you're adding them up and you've added them up incorrectly. It's 319, unfortunately. But for your incorrect answer, because your working's out or wrong, you made one mistake there, you'll get two out of three. That's good. Seven for the page. Five out of 12 is correct. That's not right. So what you have to do here, this is telling you that every time 12 people play, five of them are likely to win. So you need to see how many 12s there are in 60. You've got to group 60 into 12s. So 60 divided by 12 is five. So there are five groups and in each group, five people win. So 25 out of 60 is what we would expect to win. You'd write it like this, five twelfths times 60. 60 divided by 12 is five. So it's gonna be five lots of five, which is 25. 30, 80, what have we got there? 80 times 60 is correct, but six eighths of 48. So that would be 480. 30 lots of one pound 50 is 45. And that's right, they'll take your wrong answer. And then you'll do that subtraction, which will give you that. So your method is right, but you've made some uh, arithmetic errors there. Minus 1a is correct. 3b take away 1b is 2b. 3b take away 1b. We don't write the 1 in, but it's there. So you want minus 1a is right, but that bit there is should be 2b. So 1 out of 2 there. Here, I did mention this was a common mistake um, the other day when we went through these in class. To undo a divide by 5, I've got a times by 5, which is 50. That's right, well done. So uh, 3, 6 for that page. Good, well done. Half of 8 is 4, yes. But what's half of 18? It isn't 4, and it doesn't end in a 4. Um, okay, what we want to do here, it's not an add, it's a times. It's 2 times 3 times 5 squared. So you're going to lose a mark there for that. And then, if you remember when we did this in class, square numbers all have positive powers. So those, we, there's a one there, we just don't bother writing it in. So in order to make that a positive power, if I times it by two, that would give me two squared. Times it by three, would give me three squared. So what I end up multiplying by is six. That isn't right. I did say uh, on Thursday, if you're not sure what a group frequency diagram is, look at the one that they've given you. That is a group frequency diagram. That's not. So you want to do that sort of diagram for that data. There isn't five logs. There isn't one, two, three, four, five. In that group there, there are 20 logs. There are 20 logs with, um, with a length of between 50 and 55 centimeters. Here, there are another 30 logs. Here, there are 15, there 5, and there 5. So the total number of logs is 50, 65, 70, 75. You're going to add all of those together. It's not enough to say he has a higher frequency. The difference is his higher frequencies are in the longer lengths. So if you see here, Billy has only got 10 logs 
bigger than 65 centimeters whereas Tom has got 40 logs bigger than 65 centimeters right what you've done here unfortunately is these are for four people you've correctly converted those into that recipe but this recipe is for eight people so you need to double these quantities so it should be double that double that double that that's right that's right that one's wrong so there's one mark there have a look at the video clip um, of me going through that and seeing if it makes sense same with this this is parallel lines um, what you've done there is giving you that angle there then we're inside that triangle so taking those two away from 180 will give you that one and that one is the same as that one and the properties of parallel lines that is the same as that one so those are the same so one for that page that is correct and <clears throat> this one isn't correct the right sort of shape but what you need to do is rather than write it like that is telling you the smaller side is Z and the bigger side is 2z so you form an equation with that z plus 2z plus z plus 2z equals 24 so you've got 3z 4z 6z is 24 z is 24 opposite times it by 6 dividing by 6 which is 4 so it's 4 and 8 not 12 and 6 Okay, so what did I say you had last time? Susie, 56. I think you probably knew it to 56 and 85, but let's see. 12, oops, 4, start again. 12, 16, 25, 31, 41, 48, 54. 57 58 61 61 is a C so that's good that's good that's an improvement on last time um, what you need to do now is go through the ones that you thought you got right and you've actually got wrong and see why those have gone wrong but I'm really pleased with that Susie you're making good progress well done